good, isn't it? It's good. I like to walk down the street with it like this. <laughs> Just to really disappoint all the local children. You know? <laughs> Fuck the kids. <laughs> Fuck the kids. Any, any parents in tonight? Give us a cheer. Yeah, fuck your kids, mate. <laughs> I'm quite obsessed with ice cream chocolate music. I think it's got quite a sinister tone to it, you know. I think it's weird that parents hear this in the park. <laughs> and think to themselves, yeah, I'm going to send my kids towards that. <laughs> Go buy a treat from the creepiest looking vehicle <laughs> I've ever seen in my entire fucking life. <laughs> Go speak to the nice man in a bow tie. Who looks clinically depressed. That seems like a strong parenting move. No. <laughs> Very creepy, isn't it? Very creepy. Have you heard this coming from your house? <laughs> like... Like your loft. <laughs> <laughs> You'd burn your entire fucking house down. <laughs> That's why I don't understand when you see kids moaning these days. They don't know how good they've got it. I saw a kid in Wangamama the other day. He had a phone in his hand going, oh, I've only got 20% left. <laughs> You've got your own phone! <laughs> You're 12! I would have lost my mind! What did we have? The landline. Do you remember that? You creep into the kitchen. You usually try to speak to a girl. You were never alone. There was always another member of your family on a different phone. <laughs> Every time I used to speak to a girl, my brother would be on the top phone making this noise. <laughs> oh, yeah, funny. <laughs> what are you doing? He's wanking. I'm not! OK, KG, what we're going to do mm -hmm. is do some classic trust exercises. Crystal here is going to fall into our arms. We picked her because she's the lighter one. Mm -hmm. So I want you to put your arms out like this, and I want you to direct her and get her to fall into your arms. <laughs> Say trusting, loving, warm things. OK. Um... I'm falling for KG. Daddy, I'm your teenage rebel daughter. Daddy, I'm doing so bad at school, I'm failing math. I've got you. You're mine. Um, I don't know. That... Daddy, oh my god, I just tried drugs and I loved it. I really care about you. Mmm, Daddy, look at that group of boys over there. I'm gonna kiss every single one of them. Whatever you do, I'll catch you. Oh, yes. <laughs> See? Thank you. You're welcome. Now kiss me. So, KG, what do you think we learned from that incredibly informative exercise? I always, I'll always catch her, is I think what you're trying to tell me. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Like, even if she messes up. If she's if she on drugs, yeah. if she does but I can, I, I'm allowed to walk away if she goes to jail. You know, that's something, yeah, it's an as and when kind of question, I think. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm a little bit tired. I'm a little bit tired, I'm a new mum. Are there any mums in the room? Give me a cheer. Uh, my partner and I have recently adopted, which is very exciting. I've got a little girl and it's changed everything. Every, like, oh, I'm so in love. I can't begin to tell you. She's beautiful, she's tiny, she's, oh. Although I should let you know, when I say adopted, I do mean boar, and when I say baby, I do mean cat. But it's a very... <laughs> Very similar thing. Uh, I, said, I said the partner word, I'm, I'm, I'm a lesbian in case anyone's confused. Long hair, lesy shoes. Keeps people guessing. That's what I like to think. <laughs> Keeps people guessing. Uh, I'll let you into a little secret. I did that joke about having a cat baby at a lesbian gig. Now let me tell you, they are tricky to play even if you're on team, okay? <laughs> Some of those bitches are frosty as fuck, okay? <laughs> I said my partner and I had adopted. One woman stood to applaud. I had to reveal it was, in fact, a cat. <laughs> she called me a bitch and stormed out. I've had three kids and I regret it. You know, I, I do regret it. It's too many, isn't it? Isn't it too many? Who's got more than two kids? Yeah? What a shit in error. Right? But what can you do? You can't kill them. You just got to sit there and wait to die. Like, I can't believe we've done this. We are never going to be happy. I know. I don't know why we did it. Well, it was your idea. It wasn't my idea. I said, I don't like condoms. That's very different. <laughs> I don't know why we had the third one. I don't know. <laughs> I love when we had the second one, because the first one's a legend. <laughs> oh, my God, what a kid. Hello, Daddy. Love you, Daddy. Can I get you some toast, Daddy? Oh, my God, love that boy. Mm! <laughs> when we just had him, I said to my wife, do you know what, darling? I think we've mastered parenting. 
Do you know what I think it is? I think it's just about setting clear boundaries <laughs> and being consistent. <laughs> <laughs> the second one, feral. <laughs> <laughs> I love him, but what a f this kid is, man. Like, I love him, <laughs> but I do not like him. Sometimes I want him to get hurt. There you go, I said it. Sometimes <laughs> I want this prick to get hurt. And let me explain why. He doesn't listen to a word I say, this kid. Five-year-old boy doesn't listen to anything I say. When we go out, he runs away. But not in like a cute toddler way, he runs away like he's fleeing ISIS. Just <laughs> headed for the hills. People come and go, let's get you away from the bad man. Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> let's be honest, I don't look like I'm not in ISIS. Yeah? <laughs> Sometimes I want him to get hurt, man. When I say to him, dude, don't do that. Because if you do that, you're going to get hurt. And then he does it. And he doesn't get hurt. <laughs> that pisses me off, right? Because that is... That is life telling him that I'm full of <laughs> That's what's happening now. <laughs>